He just kind of vanished into the darkness. Oh god. Scream like Simon. I'm okay. Simulate ah. simulate some echo. We have to stage it. We have to do it again. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Um so we had we had a brief altercation just now where the microphone was not on. Um it was about 8 minutes of of not much happening. Um uh, okay. When we last left off, no. <laughs> when we last left off, um, you guys had spent a night around a campfire. Um, it was revealed that uh, Argon's real name was Axelil, um, consistently giving false names. Um, Argon is not in existence. Um, Leave it at that. That's all that needs to be said. Kapesk uh, <laughs> is a vegan. Simon is gay, and Orion had parents. Um, <laughs> um, uh, Simon is also seemingly male and also a half elf. Um, <laughs> Jokes on you, he's a trap. Yeah. <laughs> um, and after that, we had gone into uh, hiking uh, the rest of the way towards the trail. Um, you guys had seen a. Uh, a pack of wolves feeding on uh, a small winged creature, um, and uh, Kapesk spotted a wyvern, uh, a small dragon that uh, certain members of his clan um, would sometimes be uh, designated wyvern riders in, in particular raids and such. Um, and you had spotted that about a mile off uh, to the south of where you are, or actually it's to the north and slightly east. Um, up at least a mile away, <clears throat> uh, seemingly didn't take any mind to you and, and continued on its way. Um, as it's approaching about, uh, mid to late, uh, afternoon, it, it seems to be a little after four o'clock now, um, you guys eventually make it into the area where the path splits off and makes its way into the high forest as you have re-entered it, um, the air is cool, the sun is partially obscured by uh, a few clouds uh, as they are slowly passing over, uh, giving this strange effect as the sunlight is super slow motion strobing in, in, the, uh, in the forest as, as it's- That's the best description yeah, it's just, of like- It's fading in and out very slowly as, as it's breaking through the trees. Pulsating, yeah. Um, almost Throbbing. as if, <laughs> almost as if uh, the forest is alive in its own respect, which, from a certain point of view, it is extremely, extremely alive. Um, as you guys are continuing on, uh, making your way through the forest, as the trees continue to grow more dense, uh, where you are, you and we prefer studiously challenged. I will studiously challenge you in a minute. Uh. Um, anyway. Slams on trivia book. <laughs> Let's go. To, do, 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 do. It's time to not. Alright. I'm gonna move the mic. Okay. So, uh, you guys eventually uh, come upon a small clearing uh, where the trees begin to thin out, uh, eventually becoming sparse and eventually non-existent as it opens into a large clearing containing what appears to be the ruins of an ancient castle, um, or, or, or even a city, potentially. Um, as you continue making your way through, I need you guys to just go ahead and all make an investigation check as you are investigating the ruins. Twelve. Twelve. Nine. Nine. Five. All right. I've seen this before, millions like it. It's um, <laughs> <laughs> through the combined efforts of all of you taking a look through, you uh, find some evidence, uh, some engravings, some... Uh, Real estate. Yes. Uh, a, few, a few archways <laughs> with Names the name... The <laughs> with the name of this place... Uh, sort of carved in uh, as you have stumbled upon the ruins of 
I, I want to very, I'm going to make very sure that I say this right because I've been saying it wrong all day. A Thalantar. <clears throat> A T H A L A N T A R. <clears throat> um, as you guys are taking a look around, uh, it seems to be some sort of ancient settlement, a uh, town with seemingly some sort of battle mythed castle uh, at the center of it. As you guys are taking a look around, looking for the general signs of what could be a cave based on the description that you received uh, from the dwarf in Secumber. Um, everybody just go ahead and make a perception check. 21. 21. 10. 10. Killing it. 24. 24. Alright. <clears throat> yeah. Orion, your, uh, your keen eyes uh, spot uh, as you're kind of just making your way through um, you eventually come upon a part where the rubble is kind of piled up somewhat high. Um, you see a few large pieces of stone and pillars kind of somewhat piled across uh, what seems to just be a, a small black hole uh, that's just kind of partially in the ground. It, it does seem to be some sort of under, under now, under, I tried to say underground and subterranean at the same time, subterground uh, hole that seem to be partially covered by a few of these things. And within this, you see a just ever so faint, slightly pulsating glow. Um, do I know if it's man-made or if it's a natural? Make a nature check. That didn't sound great. Is it man-made or is it a natural hole? Nat 20! Alright. <laughs> um, <clears throat> as you're taking a look at this, based on, uh, exactly what you've seen here this this is definitely a natural something about the the formation of, of where it is potentially it was incorporated in the castle somehow perhaps as part of the uh, uh, the basement or, or the cellar um, it, it does seem to be very much a natural cave okay. um, I want to you guys gather up by this point Cast aware of light on my chest plate Okay. I'm gonna try and do a sweet combat roll into the cave. It, it is it, it is a hole that you oh, can't fit into. Oh, I see. It, there's pillars across it, a few other pieces of rubble, that, from where it is, you would probably have to move them out of the way if you wanted to fit into the hole. Oh, well, can I try? I'm gonna try and lift the, the pillars. Lift okay, go ahead and make a strength check. Ooh, um, seven, seventeen, seventeen. Yeah. Seventeen, um, you kind of brace yourself. It's a little bit awkward because you could fit like a leg into the hole and it's difficult to wedge yourself in a point where you could possibly get some leverage on it. As you're pulling on it, you're pulling and straining and starting to get a little angry about it and it just doesn't doesn't quite budge. Um, but as you just kind of like start pushing a few things aside, uh, you, you do manage to get a couple pieces of rubble out of the general area. But it, it seems pretty tough where it is. Yes. Can Simon fit? <laughs> Um, go ahead and make a dexterity check. Oh, what if I don't want him to? Uh, that's... Ten. Ten. <laughs> I'll do what it okay, takes. um... Hey. Actually, from, from where this is, it's not quite as difficult as, as you might have assumed. As you begin trying to, like, kind of push yourself inside, you're very frail. Not frail, but thin. Um, and you Twinkies. actually manage... At some point, you're like most of the way in and you feel like you could probably continue and then the ground kind of shifts and it just kind of gives way and you just <laughs> and begin sliding down a small oh. shale uh shale slide as you just oh, no. <laughs> you stand on impact next camp. as rocks begin to fall and echo throughout this small cave can we see him okay. uh, you do not he just kind of vanished into the darkness I oh god scream like simon i'm okay S simulate ah. some, simulate some echo Okay. <laughs> 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 I am currently alive. Um, hey. Does anybody have a torch or anything that can solve the situation? <laughs> Ryan is oh, yeah. yeah, but you're not in the hole. <laughs> um. Wait. Okay. I don't want to cast it again. Wait. Is it a cantrip? It's oh, a cantrip. It's a cantrip. Okay. Um. What do I have on? 
I hold up Here, a he holds up a rock. Yeah. I was gonna say, I hold up a pebble. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. And I cast light on it, and then just kind of like. All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a pebble. Sword. All right, you throw it. Okay. Yeah. So the a glowing rock just kind of barely misses your head, <laughs> <laughs> rolling, uh, and eventually uh, rolling to a stop and illuminating uh, a large gray kind of circular somewhat round what seems to be a stone. Oh, I'm gonna go over and pick up the rock. Do you okay. See, do you uh, see go ahead opening? and make a dexterity check. Okay. No, he's talking about the, 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 the glowing no, rock. Yeah, the, the... I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it is pretty dark. 18. 18? Okay. Um, you tenderly uh, manage to walk over to where uh, <clears throat> where this, this pebble landed. Uh, Hmm. Given that you're not really looking for it, go ahead and make a perception check. Eleven. Eleven. Um, it's not particularly difficult to see that this rock is moving uh, at, at a regular expansion and contraction kind of rate. The glowing one? No, no the... the large oh. rock immediately in front of you. Uh, I'm gonna. What's going very on? Qui- um, I'm gonna very quietly try to you, move back towards okay. the entrance. <laughs> Make a stealth check. I wanna throw another rock. <laughs> okay, another rock. Just. <laughs> uh, make it with disadvantage. That is a an eight. An eight. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, as you're carefully stepping slowly, you. <laughs> As uh, a small uh, plank just kind of uh, breaks beneath your foot as you... And this large... (laughs) As it turns, the stone still left by it illuminates the face, this large beak, and then wings as it stands up as a gargoyle stands up. That's so cool! (laughs) That's terrible. That was rising. As it looks down to you, looks up to the hole, <laughs> and begins charging for it. No. Okay. Uh, for the, the hole, hole or for, for the hole. Oh. As I'm standing directly <coughs> in front of it, like. Oh, <laughs> All right, uh, go ahead and you two make a dexterity check. Well, does that count? I kind of I I went to pick it up. Is it cocked? It. No. All right. It's, uh, oh, dope! It's a. It's a wait, did, wait! Did you roll it by accident? Yeah. Oh, well, if you roll it by accident, then okay. it's got to be an intentional roll. Oh, that one was worse. Okay, great. What you got? Oh. Seven. Seven. Six. Six. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Axe got an eight. <laughs> um, as you guys are all, like, like positioned closely around this hole, like, just be crowded in as close as you possibly can, um, you all take... Uh, a million points of damage. You take 11 points of bludgeoning damage as the entire entrance to this cave just (laughs) explodes in a massive shower of stone as the gargoyle forcing the air underneath it as the secondary blast of the air of its wings just kind of throws you all back to the ground as you were all pretty much knocked helpless as it just and begins taking off upwards. So fucking cool. I love gargoyles so much. Gargle, it, was, it was pretty. It was pretty something. I'm gonna like dust myself off and just kind of yeet down the hole. Then. It is very much open now. Um, I so it's so. leaving. It's it Simon! is it is it is pissed off. Oof. Royally. <clears throat> what you've done. You did this. All right. Stampeding. I'm st- I'm going very fast. Okay. Um. Oof. Go. You make a dexterity check because you're going very fast and have deer legs. <laughs> you're going down the shaft. Yeah. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, you you fall over slightly, but manage to kind of like keep yourself going, like like that deer in the video where it's just trying to like get across the. I'll put I'll put that in probably. No, I won't. Um, you should. It's effort though. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Yeah, All right. I have like only so much time in a day. No. Anyway. You. Um. Oops. Oops. Uh, 
uh, you you make your way down into the tunnel, um, seeing Simon looking slightly bewildered, uh, flat on his back, uh, along with a glowing rock, and seemingly beyond that is the the pulsating source of the light. I want you immediately lift him up and hug him. Okay. You are hugged. Mm, I hug back. To, okay. I'm going to pat him on the head and then continue walking. Okay. Uh, Axe joins you. At least the forward. entrance was opened, I suppose. Let's go. As you continue on down the tunnel, you eventually realize that there really isn't much to continue on down. It's a very short tunnel. Oh, oh. Uh, it, it ends abruptly at a shale wall. Um, however, there is a small, like, grouping of, of pieces of timber and uh, a few other sticks and things that seem to be covering some sort of glowing object that is the source of the pulsating light. Yes? Can I knock on the shale and, like, see if it's hollow? It's shale. It's it's literally a pile of, of small rocks. Oh, I thought you meant it's just the... Oh, it's not... It's... No, it's not a shale wall. Oh, it's okay. just, like, oh. loose flint. I thought the shale was, like... Like snow. No. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of what I imagined. So I just thought it was a slate thought... rock. Uh, uh, whenever I think of, like, rocks, I think of, like, gravel. Uh, Can I image of slate, or s- yeah. s- it's, stale? Yeah, it's, it's stale. <laughs> it's like this. Oh! oh it's just destroyed see. stone and rubble, essentially. <laughs> Can I try to move the, the sticks and stuff out of them? Uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead and make a strength check. <coughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, actually, that's just enough. As yeah. as the the tiny wizard child is like, <laughs> and is just straining and, and pushing some of the stuff out of the way. As eventually you, <laughs> and uh, see lying on the ground before you is uh, a simple long sword, um, and the hilt Orcs. is emblazoned with a lion on it, Ooh. and it is is faintly pulsating. Do you guys mind if I take a minute to try and identify this? I mean, if we want to figure out what it is. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to cast Identify as a ritual. All right, um, you watch as Simon sits down, uh, taking out a few a few things, including but not limited to uh, a, a, a small white pearl as he just kind of touches to it, as his eyes flash white for a moment after about 10 minutes. Um, and you are aware that this is uh, the lion blade. Um, I should this... get it because I'm a Leo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, no, me. So is Leo. <laughs> it, it, oh. is, it is a standard longsword. Um, however, it deals uh, upon upon a hit of, of any um, creature that has any kind of evil alignment, it does an extra d6 radiant damage. Ooh. And while you're wielding it, uh, you have advantage on saves versus fear. What's the versus, normal damage? Um, Isn't that like a, a d8? A d8 in your offhand and a d10 if you oh, okay. single-handed. Yeah. Well, I inform everyone of what this is. Mm. It seems wildly appropriate for Orion, in my opinion. Mm. Mm. It, yeah, it deals yeah. radiant damage. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. It deals one to six brain. <laughs> so it's fine. Are you proficient in long swords? I don't believe you. I, I don't know everybody's proficiencies. I just I heard radio. I am a short sword. Not sure. You you're proficient in all weapons. I'm 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 about a I'm Whoever just gonna check it. it most appropriate at source, Simon weapons, like weapons, simple right? weapons. Uh no. Can well, I still awesome. use it? Like, just for you can use it, but you wouldn't. Way. You wouldn't be able to add your proficiency bonus. Oh, okay. Whereas you would with your mace. Wait, so I could though? You could. So could I dual wield it with a short sword? Yes, because you have the dual wielder feet. Right. So they, it doesn't have to yeah. be light. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you guys Fine. doing? Boulder parchment shears. Oh yeah. The classic. Damn it. Two That's two out of three. <laughs> Fuck! Um. <laughs> That's just by chance. All one, right. more, one more. What's your strength you modifier? You still one more. <laughs> when you swing the sword, <laughs> it, it is completely up to the d20 and nothing else, whether or not it hits. It made but me that's funny. I, I no, have a plus five. I wouldn't need it, so... No, if you want it, though, I you did win fair and square. Like, straight up. I'll let you borrow it permanently. <laughs> <laughs> it's still under your name, but I just have it forever until your I die. Your kindness is legendary. <laughs> okay, pass. 
I, I just take it and I take wait, out. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 let me see for a second. Okay. I eat. I want to like ignite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, make a make a just straight wisdom roll, or make it make it a religion check. So not wisdom, just religion. Um, oh, religion is. Uh, well, it's no, not make it make it make it religion. Okay. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. No. Um. Yeah, that. You you as you kind of knight him, it feels a little bit more official than it than just kind of a silly little like ah, here we go. <laughs> as you you feel the 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 strength and calm granted by Paylor just kind of come over you as as it feels like a good decision and it ends up being a more solemn moment than just you like perhaps intended. I'm just like bleeding, I'm just like <laughs> Yeah. That was really cool. Uh, so as I, I take it and I just kinda take out my my right sword and Yay! Uh, put the other one. <laughs> it stops a uh, few feet down the tunnel. And then I put the big sword in the little sword. Does it glow all the time? Not the little sword. Um, the whole, whole thing. The <coughs> Does it glow all the time? Does Does it glow all the time? Uh, you can you can turn it off. You can turn it off. It, I refuse if you, to. If you if you speak its command word, um, <laughs> it, after you tune with it. It may be in your best interest to turn it off, considering it would be a, a little bit of a giveaway. I have to tune. Yeah, so it, it would it would take an hour to attune with it. Maybe it would take later. a short rest. No, we're sitting in here for an hour. At the moment, it isn't really. It's not a big. It, deal. It's not. It's not giving off any light with because it's kind of sheathed. Maybe you want a short rest because I only have twelve hit points. So you, oh yeah, Why? you got. Oh oh yeah. Like total or left? Left. Okay, let's rest. Total. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say yeah. Let's, you let's guys rest. All right. We don't have yeah. to, but I just don't want to like. I mean, I would. I don't mind. Should we stay in this cave? Sure. Safe. Uh, That's fair. I think maybe we should. Well, no, the dark paths. I'm gonna move. Uh, I'm gonna like. Can can I? I'm gonna try to walk up the back out. Yeah, you can. With with okay. the amount of rubble that that uh, that okay, got out. Sure you're you're not you're the... not trying to do it quickly. You're taking your time. Okay. You can manage to get out just fine. I'm gonna try to move a few rocks to make not not so that it's like closed, but so that it's like yeah, less safer. obvious that it's there. Sure. Yeah, that, that doesn't take too long. Um, I'm gonna get back in. Can I ask a question about a spell? Yes. So, um, fairy fire is basically like in a video game, the enemies light up, like no matter what happens. Yeah, and it also prevents invisibility. And I think grants people advantage. It's pretty nice. All right, so you're taking a short rest. Yes. So, uh, oh, you are shoot. free to roll as many hit dice as you like. Um, Why is it out of your total. I, I don't know why I can never remember one. The D12. That's what I thought. What did you just say? D12. Mine oh, I thought you said D20. <laughs> it's like, I'm what? That would be wild. It's a. Uh, your hit point. It's just what you get on the dice, right? I, yeah. I, I don't know why I can never remember this. And you can roll as many of those as you like. One. No. Yes. What'd you roll? A four. Not that great. You not should roll bad. another one. Well, I'm at 38. I'm not. It's not that bad. So I have three per day. It's better There's a reason I sorry. bought I bought death dice. Fine. Uh, Whoa. Seven. Oh, I don't even have. Yeah, well, there you go. Thirty-eight. Four, Perfectly seven. back at full. My maximum is thirty-four. Oof. Um, Twelve. The maximum is twenty-three. Uh, oh, during three. this short rest, I'm gonna cast mage armor on myself. Um, it would be it's gone better. by the time. The short rest. How yeah. long is a short rest? Well, actually, I th I can't remember Major that last. Lasts, like eight hours. I think it might just. Yeah. Uh, eight hours. Eight hours. All right. Um. Yeah, you can do that. You can you can cast it about the end. Okay. Um, Fuck you! I'm at forty-four. All right. Um. Argan does the same. Okay. So. Oh, uh, I'm still used to calling him Argan. Uh, 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 what's the what was the name of the sword again? Uh, the Morgan lion sword. sword. Okay. I like Lion's Blade. I, was say I wrote down Lion's Blade. You can, you can. Yeah. That. It's interchangeable. That's pretty cool. I like Lion's Tooth. Oh, yes. Every Lion's glowing, sharp teeth. Because <laughs> <laughs> they brush their teeth with the bones of their hands. Sorry, I got one or two more spell slots. 
You one got one. Left. You got, got one more. Okay. So you have three, two. Yeah. And four, four one. one. Okay. And then same for you. One. You guys, did you guys adjust your DCs and uh, spell attack bonuses accordingly? Mm -hmm. yes. uh, what? Uh, good stuff. What? Them. Oh, not me. Yeah, I don't think mine changed. Mine went up by two. Yeah. Because my wisdom changed. No. Alright, uh, so, uh, as you guys enjoy a few bashings, etc. Uh, I say etc. a lot today. Um, as you guys wrap up your rest, you cast mage armor as you feel this kind of almost a stiffening of, of your clothes as you feel the the weave of arcane energy that just flows over you in a protective manner um, as you are mage armored up. Um, so, what would you like to do? Let's look for the fungi. Let's get out of here. All right. Wait. Can we? Like, I would like to. Can I examine the, the cave thing that we're in? Right. Yeah, make an investigation check. Cool gems. May I help? Yeah, make it with advantage. Can I, can I help? What it, that would it's be already an advantage. advantage. Okay, yeah. It's Double advantage. <laughs> investigation? Investigation. It's 16. 16. Um, as you take a very careful look uh, around this area, um, you actually find a, a small patch of, of pink quartz that's that's embedded in the wall, mm. um, which you can't take out because you would need can mining equipment. My mace? Uh, Hit yeah, make a strength check. Behind. Mine it with a blunt option, like our ancestor. Fine. As you, <coughs> you shatter the quartz in, in the general area, and it, it, it was a seemingly fairly small vein, um, but one or two shards kind of like tink, 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 and fall out, like tiny shards. Tiny shards, like necklace size, like... You could, you could cut it into a necklace. Could it's you, it's pretty could tiny. Ask, could you mend it? Is it mendable? I mean, you could mend it back into the wall. Oh, oh. I'll use them for something. Okay. <laughs> so like, I'll try again. Tiny, tiny quartz shards. All right. Uh, yeah, tiny, tiny pink quartz shards. So, um, you are in a bit of a pickle. As you are essentially trapped in a hole. Oh, this is how I die. Cli climbing Anybody is got a very horse difficult. <laughs> um, wait, can I cheat it? <gasps> and, like, what? Now is my time. Mm -hmm. I just learned levitate. Hey. <laughs> All right. I could levitate you out of this hole. Oh, we should try other ways. I I could help you, but it Does would take rope. It would take a lot out of me. Does anybody have rope? I can't. I don't know. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of wanted to try it. Do it. Uh, if you let's hurt try, me. let's try the, the rope. Wait first. Wait, Does anybody have rope? That was my question. That he a... has rope. Yeah, that has rope. Yeah, I do have rope. You guys have rope? Okay, so. How do you want to do this? <laughs> so, Kafaski, you're the strongest. You're well. Give me the rope, and I want to tie it like from. Deer butt front legs, like under my. So like the armpits of your front legs. Yes. Okay. Um, and then like just tie it around my like waist, and then um, have him go up and help, like just kind of pull All right. it. And then we're, like, make a uh, make a dexterity check with advantage. Actually, make it make it just a straight roll. So whatever you rolled first, uh, because of the the deeply difficult amount of income. Eleven. Eleven. Um, you manage to get a solid halfway up, um, and you're just kind of like, break. you're able to actually, like, put your hands on there, but you can't, like, hoist yourself because 90% of your body is below that area. 90% of your body is... Kapetz, can you just lift me? I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna, like, grab him under the armpits, almost. Like, okay. I, pretty much like I did with our, uh, uh Axelil. Axelil is gonna come up behind you and just kind of, like... Can I, can I, are, are you sure? Okay. I don't, I'm he just, just gonna silently <laughs> is pushing on your butt. <laughs> oh. uh, make a make a straight strength check. Nineteen. Um, you manage to 
and just drag him out like a giant fish onto a dock um, oh. as he just kind of <laughs> comes up over onto his side, legs kicking slightly. It really, really hurt, but you are out of the cave. I'm gonna climb up behind him. Okay. Yeah, you guys make your way out. Um, by this point, silent it's, nod to yeah. Axe. It's, 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 it's late it's evening. Now. It's, it's close to uh, about, about six o'clock. The, ch- the sun is, is, uh, beginning to set. Well, should we keep looking? Yes. Alright. Is uh, my thing still lit up? No, no. I mean, we took it. Oh. Um, what? so, who wants to lead the investigation check to check I around the area? I have a modifier of seven. Sure. Alright, go it, ahead. Wait, go ahead and do it with advantage. advantage. Because I can put him on my back and he has a higher point of view. <laughs> well, as long as you're helping, he still gets advantage. Oh, okay. 22. 22. Um, searching the area, it, it takes you a few minutes, but with the expert uh, searching capabilities of yourself, uh, you do come upon a, uh, a, a small, somewhat, uh, it, it seems like at one point it was utilized as some sort of mine shaft, uh, but has dilapidated to the point where it's just essentially a cave now. Um, it is uh, just a, a short walk away from the ruins of a than a fell and tar i i remember things good um as you guys uh, arrive together at the entrance of this cave is it can, can we fit in it yes okay. it, it, it's it seems to be uh, just a gradual slope does it look like it'll crumble <laughs> um make a perception check i'm gonna help you check okay do it with advantage better the first time. Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, it, it looks pretty solid. The ground seems sturdy. It just seems to be a, a, a pretty slow, gradual incline downwards. Okay. Is this something Ryan could get himself back out of? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys want to head inside? Can I somebody else lead? lead. All oh, right. And <laughs> Axe, Axe just kind of <laughs> and makes his way down um, I want the cave. to keep, like, uncomfortably close, but not in that way, but just like I am way taller than okay. <laughs> All right, just, like, just kind of... like his his feet are like st- like stepping like this and right. like every step he does that I'm like <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It looks weird because that's not how deer walk, but it it's you still like attempt to, to keep up with him and, and do manage to stay pretty close behind us. Eventually it becomes too dark to see and he puts the, the red uh, goggles on. And uh, oh yeah, none of us have dark vision. You too. Uh, However, actually, <laughs> he does. I do. <laughs> Simon has dark vision. Yeah. Oh yeah, cause, you, cause you're half elf. Cause he's Still. half elf. Still. <laughs> All right. Uh, as <laughs> you guys are immediately blinded by the intense radiating light coming from Orion's chest plate, as you just. Oh. <laughs> It's um, like turning on a light switch in the dark. Yeah, as, as um, Axe just comes up. Ah, oh, yeah. his, oh, night, his no. night vision goggles. And they just break. <laughs> oh, God, how terrible would that be? Um, as, as you guys continue uh, making your way. I'm going to say I'm comfortably close to him so that I'm not... so that I'm in as much light as possible. Y'all are okay. all I want to pick up Simon and oh. put him on my back. Okay. We're just oh. kind of clumped together. He's pretty light. You can do that pretty easily. Well, actually, since you're very weak, go ahead and make a strength. Oh. Nine. Nine. Oh, that's not good. You're like, you're like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna pick him up and sturdier put him on board your than back. you thought. Yeah, you can He's do that. He's like just picking fine. me up so much. You're like, because it's your, it's because you're, you're so like small, eight. so unbelievably small. <laughs> <laughs> Pick Axel back up. All right. Not even on my shoulders, just like by the butt, like a baby almost. <laughs> I see where this has backfired, <laughs> and honestly, I can't even blame you. I'm gonna put him on. Is would it be too much weight? He was leading, I... so you should probably just put him back. Well, was... Yeah. Which yeah. which of you would like to uh, to lead, or do you sure, want him I'll to lead? Sure, I'll do it. I have... Do you want to lead? Okay. I was gonna. Oh. Well, can I put him behind mm-hmm. Simon on on? Sure. Okay. okay. Why not? Are we or not? Um, make a constitution check. Oh, There's a lot of weight on your back. Well, oh. it's not as much as you might expect. I didn't expect. Thirteen. Much. No. Yeah. Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, it's kind of heavy, but 
you've had worse. You've you've moved some like heavy uh, logs and and such in your time uh, in the wilderness, trying to to you know live and exist. And they're surprisingly light, given their size. Um, as as it looks really weird. Um, Simon, you're slightly blinded by the fact that you're basically holding on to, like, like you're, you're like, motorcycle riding on and, like, trying to squint against the light that's kind of blinding your eyes. Uh, go ahead and make an investigation check. This is maybe not optimal. It's entirely optimal. I 17. I can't hear you over the light. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bright. I can't hear you. It's um... Uh, after about an hour of, of just straight walking through, you eventually come to a point where it seems like just a giant fissure, just a, an underground ravine uh, just opens up in front of you, and you see, uh, what? I instantly pictured a mutton toe. So, so, oh, so yeah. oh my god. Exactly, yes. Alright, well. All the worst type of people. For, for purposes of ease, yeah, it's not dissimilar. <laughs> <laughs> All of us. <laughs> <laughs> just my dad, so. You hear creepers in the distance. Oh god! Don't um, mind that. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> you will die. Can you pause this for a second? Yeah. So I can... I, anyway, I tried to no. have it on record. So, as you continue on in the ravine, Jonan Wolfgang von Gulf. Excuse what? me. I'm sorry. Enjoy when you can and endure when you must. Jonan Wolfgang von Gogh. That's gonna be shout an NPC. Out, shout out to that <laughs> That's great. Well, anyway, I'm keeping this on hand. Good. Okay. Uh, as as you guys uh, take a look around, um, you don't immediately see any signs of anything glowing in the darkness, and you just kind of continue to look around in the general area. Um, since you are in front, uh, after about another 20 minutes or so, go ahead and make a perception check. Nineteen. Nineteen. After a few minutes, um, you see uh, a rock formation pressed up against the wall, which does not in any way seem natural at all. And as you get closer to it, and the light kind of sheds a little bit more on it, you see a, a excellently hidden, pressed up against the rock, what seems to be uh, a, a naturally eyeless uh, troll-like creature. That's cool. Like, it, it, it looks like time or evolution has simply sealed its eyes completely shut, as they're just not there. As you, you see, part of what gives it away is the hooked nose um, that is there. And the, the slight gut as as it's just pressed up against the wall hiding. I'm gonna immediately freeze. Okay. And like <laughs> You stop. Um Should we go? What is it? I wanna point to it and like okay. kind of <laughs> just I have something that may deal with this. He pulls a dagger. <laughs> Flips it. <laughs> oh god! Um, I'm gonna immediately start running. Okay, hang no, on. No, that's loud. Okay. It's really loud. You have hooves. <laughs> Good god, that hits. Oh. Hang on. It's made of rock, though. Where's the. It's not. It's just. Where did my d4 go? Oh, it just looks like a rock? It's yeah. hiding against the rocks. Oh, I thought it was rock. I'm like, no, you dumbass. I'm just gonna take Clean. <laughs> <laughs> he knows about monster. Yeah, remember. That's his so it's evolved right. in the darkness um, of the cave to become. Light. Axe slings his dagger, uh, dealing sixteen points of slashing damage immediately as the creature is incredibly surprised and incredibly dead as Whoa. the dagger just kind of <laughs> in, into the into the side of its throat is just. <laughs> immediately, like, unsticks itself from the wall and begins just <laughs> regurgitating blood. It This is not a troll. Um, 
as it, it is it is troll like in its oh, in its form as it's just <laughs> coughing up attempts to reach back and and begins to drag out this this large bony club with spikes on it as it <laughs> and just begins to pool outwards um, as it dies there on the cave in front of you what was that dead Ryan is terribly upset by this <laughs> Okay. Like, actually, if that's upset. <laughs> Orion oh, will remember this. <laughs> but it's a Mix monster. him up. Can I do that? Can I just, like, yeah. get him off of me? I'm, well, you can push him off of you, but you can't okay, really pick him up. I want to... Okay, no. I'm going to... Well, he, he got off of you in order to sling the vagrant. Oh, oh, okay. Dang it. Can I block him? <laughs> he's not... He's, not in, he's in front him. of you. No, like, like kick him. hit him. No. Somehow. Oh. Just, like, a good, like... Alright, make an attack roll. Wait, where do I add to that? I already forgot. Proficient? No. You're, you're, all right. Oh, oh. What are you okay, hitting? What are you going to hurt him with? My hands. Your I'm hands. Just do a all right. Swift, like, I'm gonna neck then, him. Then you add your, <laughs> then you add your proficiency bonus and your strength modifier. So, Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, as you attempt to slap him in the back of the head, and you just kind of <laughs> ducks out of the way uh, and immediately dodges it. Um, what did I say? You made what? it look like he forgot to turn the microphone on. No. Oh. I'm, I'm not going to do it for everything that he no, does. No, if you don't do it every... Okay. <laughs> I won't mention it again. I just really want to... Great. It looks like he motioned at the microphone and I yeah. was... Oh, no! I'm sorry. Yeah, we're like I'm very 40 sorry. minutes in. No. Anyway. I would have I said something by now. I did look. All right. This is good music for what's going on. <laughs> um, Just a moment. Okay, I attempt to hit him again. Stop. Yeah, you, you can. He, that can I try to grab his the arms? The creature wasn't yeah. doing anything. Like it. It was planning an ambush and was armed. How do you know that? It would have killed your arms. Armbushed and, and <laughs> that's not what I meant. <laughs> it, You're not it, coming back from that. Right. Like he he walks over to it, pulls out the club, which you can clearly see is made out of bones, and is spiked with various like tooth-like objects and things. These aren't animals, they're monsters. Do you want it? I mean no offense. <laughs> <laughs> he hands it to you. Here. It's pretty gross. It's it's greasy. I'm gonna can I like does he have clothes? Um, there there is a loincloth. Oh, can I can I kinda like feel it up for pockets? It's a, it's a loincloth. <laughs> Go ahead and make an cloth. investigation check. Oh, okay. oh my god. This is why our episodes are so long. <laughs> Dot on the round part is a six. Um, my investigation is a zero, so six. Uh, six. Shh. Kind of feeling it up uh, after a minute or so, a spider like scuttles out. Um, you find uh, a, a penis. Um, <laughs> wow. uh, you also find kind of like Hooked into into the little strap is is three unidentifiable digits of some kind. I'm gonna take the like fingers. Off. Oh, All right. yeah. It, I'm just gonna, yeah. I'm gonna some some sort of finger like object. It's hot. Okay, you take yeah, the loincloth. No, loin the the fingers kind of tumble to the ground, and you have a loincloth and a naked troll like being. Kapask, I love you, but I don't understand you. I, I can't attest to either of those things. <laughs> Can Let's I just, go. like, give the thing to Kapesk? Okay, I'll, I'll take it. Alright. It, okay. It's... it's... I, have, I now... Sorry. I now have Bone Chimes, Bone Mobile, and Bone Club. Bone Club, yeah. It, it is a, a standard, simple club. Does D4 damage. Uh, strength base. As um, yeah, he's Axe he's takes his dagger back. Him. The, the gut, the blood continues to gush out of it as, Ryan, as he removes it. I didn't it. realize you were opposed to killing monsters. Is it killing what someone monster? defines as a monster is up to their own personal belief. It's something that would have. Would you kill us. a dog for biting you? Do you want a finger? It's not a dog. I always want a finger. <laughs> They're just kind of there. I'm gonna take the finger too. All right. Like one of you, the dishes. Just like that. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, you, you, you take one of the carrot, severed fingers. Uh, could be could be humanoid or other. Okay, regardless. Build it up my I'm gonna continue. Great. 
All right. Yeah. As you guys uh, continue making your way down, uh, you do actually uh, eventually come upon uh, an, an area where it widens out and kind of opens up as uh, there is a small, uh, slow-flowing kind of subterranean river almost. It's it's very small. It coming out of a small crack in the wall and just kind of spewing out um, towards the other side of the room. Is it no, it's it's cave water. Oh, it, doesn't fungus like grow in your it water? Does, actually. It does. Um, um, however, go. also in this area, uh, you do find uh, what seems to be some sort of skeletal remains Ooh. of a uh, vaguely humanoid uh, creature. It seems to be somewhat in pieces okay. with uh, with some some simple rudimentary like leather armor and a few things taking a, taking a quick glance at it. Okay. Can I'm we look gonna... around for... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, well, no, I'm on a rise back, so you do what you're gonna do. Well, okay, I'm gonna go to the source of the water, like where the crack is, and just follow it down to look for the final vitalis. Okay. Um, as you follow it past the, the corpse and, and continue making your way down, um, it... it it winds as a river does. Um, it, it's very small. It's it's worn a, a tiny groove, um, not tiny, but you know it's maybe like a foot wide groove into the stone. And eventually, uh, after about another half hour, forty five minutes or so, um, you see in the distance a faint glow from where you are. Uh, go ahead and make a perception check. Nat twenty. Okay. <laughs> from from where you are. Um, you see uh, three more of these these troll-like uh, eyeless creatures. Um, they seem to be about about uh, sixty to seventy feet away from you. Um, they they're kind of sitting together around uh, a small pile of of things. Um, from where you are, you, you see it appears to be humanoid remains. Uh, and one of them over in the corner is um, kind of like hunched over protectively over what seems to be a dead, a giant dead spider and is currently oh. just kind of gnawing away at the limbs, uh, like removing them one by one as they <laughs> remove and he just kind of eats the meat out of are, them. Are it's still vaguely between, twitching. Do we see this too? You, do, you currently do not because it's, well, actually you, you could um, because of your dark vision, uh, but it's like just on the edge of it where you're able to detect these creatures, but you're not able to see... The remains or the dead spider that they're eating. Yes. Your bow. Ow. <laughs> Wait, can I ask um, a question? Like what, a what? like a informational question. Yes. Um you don't have to tell me if it'll work, but like would the light cantrip and or uh like fairy fire or burning hands create something like sunlight? Like UV. It, blind. it would it would be bright. Well, I know, but like I. The, the, well, I oh, mean, they're not they're, trolls. Okay, never mind. There, there is there are specific spells that their effects create uh, things that replicate sunlight. Um, okay. Where like they would harm, like if it was a vampire, like the sunlight spell would harm okay. a vampire. And there's certain other spells that do create specifically sunlight. Okay. Uh, but That's those good. do not. Gotcha. And I forgot they're not really trolls. Yeah, they, they are eyeless. Okay. Um, so I am. Uh, is it between me and what the glowing thingy? Yeah, as as from what you saw, it, it seems to be the ceiling is somewhat glowing, and uh, based on this, from from what you've seen, you assume it to be some sort of fungus. Is it beyond? It's, so it's beyond them. They're they're like. The, it, it's it's above them. They're oh, they're in oh, sort so of like a, a small secluded like like a dome essentially, a half dome. Yeah. And. The ceiling of this half dome is is faintly illuminated. I have a quick question. Yes. Uh, hold on. Sorry, I have to get the card. Um, you never told me the stats for the grape shot bolts or the bow itself. Um, you don't know them. Oh shit. About how far away is the fungus on the ceiling? Um, from where you guys are, it's about seventy feet away. Okay. Can we move very quietly close? Everybody, go ahead and make a stealth check. Oh, oh well, I, I'm on this edge. Yeah, you have disadvantage because of your armor, I believe. Do I still... Um, well, no, you would have to get down and, and all do it together. Oh, okay. 
24. 15. 15. 17. 17. I'm upset because the well. higher one was a 20. Aww. Aww. Well, it's really quite something as, as you dispel the light uh, cantrip and continue amazingly creeping along undetected um, up to the point where you're about, uh, from where you are, you're about almost 30 feet away. You're pretty close. I would <laughs> like to cast Mage Hand. Okay. And I would like to try to retrieve some of it from the snake. Okay. Go ahead and make, uh, f- just make a, hmm. Make a sleight of hand check with disadvantage. That is... Nat 30. <laughs> 10. 10. Um, as you're doing this, uh, you begin to kind of scrape it, and it's like, it's moss, it's it's pretty firmly in there, and you're just kind of, the hand is digging at it, and eventually a piece begins to dislodge, and then kind of tears away in a small strip as it just kind of, against the floor of the cave, as it just kind of wetly smacks as um, the, the troll-like creatures immediately, and without looking, Don't. are... are <laughs> Taking a look around. Can I very slowly try to pick it up off the ground with the with the mage hand? Yeah. Uh, m- make another sleight of hand check with disadvantage. Or just do it a straight roll, actually, for this one. Oh, well, that's a fifteen. This is a twenty. Twenty. Um, you pick up a piece and begin slowly bringing it back, but not quicker than the trolls immediately spreading out uh, in Ooh, a in a direction um, as they near closer. And closer, I'm gonna, and closer uh, to you. They, I'm gonna they take out my pull it back to me and, and shove it in my bag. <laughs> All right, the troll reaches you first. Okay. What are you doing? I was taking out my double cross and loading a grape shot bolt. I'm also gonna lift up my cloak over my head. Okay, uh, as you lift your cloak, uh, the trolls come within range. Kind of, uh, go ahead and roll initiative. <laughs> <Hidden>. <laughs> Well, we got the moss. You keep landing right on the edge of it so that it's like... Seven! Yeah! Thanks. Oh, okay. All right. Um, gotta pull out my explore dex is nine. I rolled a nine. Oh, I hadn't, I hadn't erased it from last session. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Capest, nine. Mm-hmm. Simon? Thirteen. Orion? Seven. Seven. God damn. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> really glad that we took that short rest. So. Yeah, same. Just a moment. All right. With uh, Axelil at a 21, <laughs> the creatures go first. Oh. Oh, no. Man. All right. <laughs> so. Have, they have a 30 in dex. They, <laughs> they immediately become aware of your presence, kind of, <sighs> but are all surprised, immediately ending their turn. Uh <laughs> Immediately after this is uh, Axelil, who, upon seeing this, uh, pulls one of his homemade uh, swords and is going to immediately just chuck it towards him. Uh, Yep. Uh, You know, let me get some more dice. Oh no. He's a rogue. When they when they sneak, they do good. I'm gonna kill you. A disappointing 14 damage. That one. Why is that disappointing? That that could have been that could have been pretty massive. I think I think um 
when he crits, it does a max uh, maximum of thirty. Uh, if he if he had rolled better. Nice. Um. All right. So that's his turn, and he's gonna immediately sling another blade. Uh, that's uh. Yep. And the second one kind of catches it in in the shoulder, just slightly above its heart, and the second one. <laughs> catches it in the gut as it just kind of crumples over, immediately dies. Um, that ends his turn. Uh, immediately after that is Simon. Okay, uh, I'm going to cast Magic Missile, send all three darts at one of them. Okay. Uh, there's one on the left and one on the right. Uh, I'll go for the one on the left. Alright, so left boy takes uh, 3d4 plus 3. I thought there were three of them. Oh. There were three, but one is now dead. Oh, that was easy. Yes. Well... It, yeah, everything seems to be your uh, an, an, assass an assassin. An assassin road. What? Nine. 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 Alright. Yeah. Ass assassin. Ass assassin. Alright. Ass Just a moment. Okay. So, uh, how much damage is that? Nine. Nine. All right. Uh, up after that is Kapesk. Um They're they're each about ten feet apart. And they're about thirty feet away. Or um, the two of them they're each about fifteen feet away. They're about ten feet apart and fifteen feet away from you. Okay, so I have my crossbow out already. I'm I'm gonna shoot the one. He damaged the one on the left, right? Yes. I did. Okay, so I'm gonna just go for the one on the right with my crossbow. Okay. Double cross. So go ahead and make uh make a straight. Okay, just roll and add your dex. Ooh, 21. 21 definitely <laughs> hits. So, uh, go ahead and roll, uh, let's see. Go ahead and roll a d8 and 3d4. 3d4. And then add your dex. Ooh, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18. All right, as you fire the, the crossbow with the grape shot un underneath, it's just <laughs> immediately impacts upon the creature and just <laughs> like shatters the bolt into its heart as this one is, he's looking pretty hurt, but he is still standing as he's just kind of staggered Christ. with the bolt half embedded in his chest. It's just <laughs> this one is basically dead. He, he's, he's on his left leg. Like, and that is one attack. 15. Okay. I did 15. Uh, yes. Um, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna run to use my, my movement, and I'm gonna go up to him, and I'm gonna, uh, use Hungry Jaws. Okay. Which is uh, a bonus action. Good, make an attack roll. Thirteen plus dex. Sixteen... Is, that's not plus proficiency, right? It's um, just plus my dex. What are you, what are you trying to do? You're, Hungry Jaws? No, no, you add strength and proficiency. Strength and proficiency. I, okay. Uh, so, 3 and uh, 13 plus 5, 18. 18 definitely hits. So, go ahead and roll a d6. Um, add your strength, and then whatever damage you deal is how much you get in temporary points. 6. So, you gain 6 hit points, and you bite at the thing's throat and just rip it out as it just... <laughs> And it just, it's making this horrible gurgling noise as it just bubbles up as the last pumps of its heart gush all of the blood out forward onto its shirts. Uh, this is a family show as it stumbles backwards and just kind of splats out onto the ground dead. Still gurgling slightly. I'm pretty aroused. Alright. The throat is pretty greasy but kind of tender. It's nice. All right. Uh, up after that is Orion. Um, I wanna like rear up and like the um the the guy who's almost dead with my hoops just like hit him. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and uh, <laughs> go ahead and roll and add your proficiency and your strength bonus. Uh, twenty total. Twenty total. All right. Uh, go ahead and roll a d6 and add your strength. Four. We are. Uh, as you just kind of 
with your hooves, it just kind of <laughs> is bludgeoned slightly and moves back. Um, immediately in response to this, it kind of like hones in on your scent and is going to make a strike against you. Um, that is um, a 12. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, as it swings past you in the darkness, you kind of hear it coming and step out of the side as it whooshes right past you. Um, immediately after that uh, is Axe's turn as he is going to run up, remove the um, sword from the one guy and is going to rush up, making two attacks against Dude. The first one is a natural two uh, and the second one is a natural five. Um, which actually still hits. Uh, dealing... Miserable amounts of damage. Okay. Uh, despite all this, as he just runs up, it one of the blades just kind of managed to catch catch it across the chest where your hooves had previously wounded him slightly, and it's now open and, and bleeding slightly. So it's just kind of like, and does anybody here speak under common? Nope. Uh, nope. All right. Um, there is there is some. Some random gibberish kind of thrown your way. Just and there's uh, an undercommon. Yes. Cool. Wow. Um, don't, wait, don't you have comprehend language? And af after a moment of of this gibbering, it he just kind of like, screams at you. Um, in in this horrible foul voice that sounds mostly unused, mm -hmm. as this scream just kind of. That's quite terrifying. Don't ask me to do that again. I don't like it. So. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. You will die. Okay. Yes. 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 <laughs> oh, sweet. Okay. Um, up after that is Simon again. Is it not dead? No. It is barely alive. Woo. Okay. Um, Just scream at it. I suppose I'm going Creepy to cast Firebolt. Okay. Go ahead and make an attack roll. Six. Six, Six definitely points. misses. Nice. Uh, that's your action, bonus action movement? Yeah. No? Alright, up after that is Kapesk again. Alright, I'm gonna run at it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw my, my, uh, new, my lion heart. Lion, or no, what do they call it? Lion's play. And, and you I'm, tuned with it? Yes. Okay. During the shortest. Uh, okay. let me check something. Okay. Yes, so, uh, you, you would get the, uh, the, the d6 of radiant damage against this creature, so go ahead and make an attack roll. Adding your strength and proficiency. Ooh, that's a natural 19. Plus 5 it is. is 24. Alright, uh, so uh, go ahead and roll a d8 and a d6 and add your strength. And you're, you're not ready, so you don't get your bonus. I'm not what? You're not oh, ready, yeah. Wait, oh yeah, no, no, no. It's dead. I wanted to anyway. Uh, yeah, oh. It's dead either way. Okay, uh, 8 plus 4. All right, as you, as the blade sinks an uncomfortable distance down its torso, uh, about to, like, a little bit below its sternum, as it just kind of bisects the creatures, which kind of, um, as part of it just kind of peels off of itself, as it just kind of slaws to the floor and collapses. I'm actually, the battle's over. Let's check if there's any fingers. Um... Yes, initiative is I'm, I'm going to start carving them up and taking a little bit of meat. Oh. All right. I, I want. I want some food. This. Okay. Sure. Go ahead. Can I just drink write drink. slab of meat? Yeah. Slab of <laughs> cube of meat. <laughs> I'm you, putting. You, you've cube. become Paris. Cube. I have purposes. <laughs> cube of. Exactly. Cube of meat. Faux cube of meat. Troll. Don't judge. Meat. I don't know what they are. It's the only meat I can get. Ugh. Hey. Great. I mean, yeah. Okay. Um. So I, I mean, I'm. I'm gonna actually look through their The stuff. Belongings. Yeah. Okay. Um. As you poke through, go ahead and make an uh, investigation check with advantage. Thank God for that advantage. Okay. Ooh. Eighteen. Eighteen. All right. Um. As you take a look through. Just like their blood. You find this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I have the power. Right. 
It's just a gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's another rifle. Um, I do very thoroughly check. Uh, it, <laughs> it, it seems that um, whatever this is uh, seems to be a pile of remains of various warriors or seemingly adventurers. Um, as you uh, take a look through, you find uh, a small ring uh, with uh, the head of a dragon kind of emblazoned on it. Uh, you find uh, a, a simple short sword um, that has a very fine edge to it and a, a light bit of serration near the, uh, near the hilt. Um, you also find uh, a shield that it's, it's almost in the shape of a spider web where it's kind of like a kite shield, but it's like almost spiked. Like they're not, they aren't sharp, but, it, but it's, it's, yeah, it's like web like in design. Know. And you also find uh, a mace. Okay. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna replace my other, sh my left short sword with the serrated one. Okay. I'm just gonna toss the other one aside. Would you like me to identify this? Yes. It might take a while. Um, so you're sitting down to identify? Yeah. Alright, uh, Axe kind of comes up for a moment. Um, don't mean to alarm anybody. Uh, do any of you speak under common? No. no. Uh, I didn't well, he know. said others are coming, so we should probably oh, leave immediately. Yeah. Uh, okay, right. the moss that I got, am I sure that it's what we're looking for? Um, make a nature check. 15. Um, it... It seems to be, you've worked with, with certain, um, like, phosphorescent uh, mosses in your time. It's, it seems to be what, what you believe to be the Philobilitis. Okay. Okay. So if we're going to leave, I want to do something really quick. All right. I want to pick up a rod, cast light on it, and chuck it as far down, like, the, the, the crevice as I can see, just to, like, okay. see. Okay. Sure. As um, as you cast and chuck it, um, as you, whoosh, it kind of disappears, and then clatter, 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 slides, and you see just a continuation of the cave, oh, okay. and a continuation of, of where the river flows, and you do see, like, some faint signs of things that may have been living here, okay. and you see a, a, a few more pieces of remains, like okay. bones and various things I scattered about. I was just about. worried it was going to be a moment of, like, yeah, <laughs> and then you just see, like... Yeah, no, <laughs> like, like but, 80 of them, like, hum, but, hum, hum, hum. <laughs> but concerningly, it, it lands just past what seems to be almost a carved-in archway. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Let's do that. Oh. Guys, I think we should come back. We've got what we're looking for. We if, know where this is. If you want to Approximately how many is a legion? Lot. Um, that's coming. Let's leave. Yes. Let, let's leave immediately. All right. Please. Yeah. Um, as you guys make your way out. <laughs> oh, <wahoo. laughs> as you. I yoked. am your god. <laughs> I, I am your god. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm still waiting on that commission. I'll pay you like fifty bucks for it. It's very I, important. I'll do, literally do that tonight. I'm very happy about that. Sleep over. Yes. Cool. Oh. This is on recording. Yeah. All right. Um, as over? you guys. <laughs> You wish to over my house? You can draw a Waluigi. <laughs> Wario, I oh keep getting the two of them confused. Fake gamer oh my god, I am a fake gamer girl. You're allowed to come over if you bring Mario Party 2. <laughs> and with that, what are we calling this one? Um, approximately how many is a legion? <laughs> <laughs> That's really good, actually. Okay, thank you very much for joining us. Um, Peace out. Next episode, TPK. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>